Currently, I'm trying to educate myself with a new program for my podcast to actually make them podcast. Uh, if you're not familiar with what a podcast is, uh, it's actually hard to explain too. In other words, you should be able to pick this up on other formats other than YouTube. And i got to figure all that out. I'm pretty much there. Uh, I'm going to be going... Currently what I do, I set my camera up and I'm recording to an SD card. Just like I would if I made a video. However, there are better ways to do it. Better sound. Uh, I've almost got that microphone working. Almost. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. It's very aggravating. And after research, uh, the Blue Yeti, it's not the Blue Yeti, it's the Blue Yeti microphone has trouble with being recognized by computers or actually the new program I'm using. It's called OBS software. Uh, it allows you to bring in other videos you can look at, uh, uh, other people if you want. Uh, basically what you're doing is... I'm going to be, either one of my cameras I can use as a webcam, which you can't do with a Go, you can do it with a GoPro, but it's very, very complicated. Now this camera here, I can simply turn it on and the one thing will pick it up and I'll just hit webcam and it's a webcam. The issue is I can't get the microphone working all the time, every time. I've tried... Uh, I've watched every video under the sun and the one thing that I found that works is you got to reset it to factory every single time so until I get that resolved I mean I've had it working when you can get that working then in the studio you can set the sound I can even do that well I can't do it with the DJI mic but I can do it with the with the Rode mics to get the sound that I want but using this software, you're actually recording to your computer, not an SD card. And there's no editing. You know, you basically... But I don't want to start putting my podcast on this till I know what I'm doing. Uh, there's a lot of advantages. Y'all probably don't care, or some of you probably won't even understand about it. But there's a lot of work that goes involved, you know, that goes into it. So hopefully I can get that all figured out this week. And you'll know when I, it, it's just going to look different. And then I want to set up the area better, you know, that looks more professional. And get it set up on the RSS feed. That's what it is. The RSS feed. I'll figure it out. I'm just a little slower these days. I used to be a, a snap when something new would come out on the internet. And I'd figure it out. And, you know, I was one of the first people on eBay and, and any other things that came out. But, you know, it's getting a little more complicated. Uh, speaking of complicated, for the past week, let me get a sip of this, okay? That's pretty good stuff. For a week now, I have been fighting, trying to put that new ceiling fan up in the old office with the new pantry. I've got power. I've, I've got, I take my multimeter. I've got the right voltage. I've got power to the fixture. It worked before. Now, I did determine that the, the, the start of the problem was the switch broke. The light switch broke. It just the whole contact broke off. The plastic broke. So, figure well, that's simple. Well, after multiple attempts to hook it up, with the switch nothing would work so I eliminated the switch I went direct power because the f the fan has its own remote control on off you don't you don't need a switch if you don't want a switch so I, I wired it direct hardwired it should have worked nope so I have tracked it down to the neutral wire has a break in it somewhere and that's not fun because I got to start taking sealing apart so it's going to be a lot of work, but i got to have a light in there. And I bought that fan. There's nowhere else to put it. 
so I've got to get that fixed. So I think that's what I'm going to do today. I've, tr I've been watching my old videos. You know, that's one good thing about making videos of things you're doing. I've been watching old videos to see where my junction boxes are up in the ceiling. So I don't have to tear the whole thing out looking for it. So I've either pinpointed it to one of... Yeah, that light is connected to this wall here. I don't... It was an available power line <laughs> that I hooked into. Um, it's not super dangerous. I've got them capped off now. It's on live, you know. But there's a break in the neutral. If you got a break in your neutral, well, it ain't going to work right. Uh, so I don't... I can't figure out what caused it to suddenly stop working unless that switch breaking fried something in there. I, I don't know. I, I don't see that happening. But anyway, I'm going to tear into that today. But yeah, sometimes doing your own work, you know, there's nothing worse than getting everything finished in there or something completely finished and covered up and then you got to unbury it like my shower, you know, when that started leaking. I had to tear the wall out, fix that. So, you know, but I'm grateful that I, I am able to do those things, that I don't have to call an electrician or ever call a plumber. I'll figure it out myself. And that's a good way to be. But, I, you know, I've got to have a light in there. I thought, well, screw it. I'll just buy a lamp, one of those stand-up lamps, and then turn it on when I come in there. But then I got a big hole in there, and that don't look good. And I got the fan. I got to use this fan for something. So it never ends. You always got something going on, and the grass needs mowed, which I didn't have enough gas yesterday if you watched last night's video. So I had to go, you know, I've, I've got to go today and, and fill up the gas cans. And, you know, you just don't get out in the morning here and mow. It's a, there's always dew on the grass, at least for probably another few weeks. Uh, there, even in the midsummer, I, you know, the grass is wet in the morning. And so you, you got to wait till it dries, which is usually at least noon. And by then, you're, you're at 95, 100 degrees. So that's what you deal with with that. <laughs> So that, that's one thing in the summer. You've got those things that need to be taken care of and other things that you're working on. You know, I got the building out there I got to get finished. But it's full of lumber. Why is it full of lumber? Well, because I bought too much uh, from the sawmill and a lot of the cedar that's in there I'll finish. Uh, actually, I'm not going to need much more for the kitchen other than building them cabinet doors. Uh, and then we'll get that cleared out. But I got all these two by fours. I could move it in the other shed, but I've got appliances in there for someone else. And there's really nowhere to put it and be able to get those out when the time comes. So I'm just sit, sitting on that for now. You know, the shed ain't going nowhere. So right now it has a job. It's providing shade to the dogs. They get under there. They get their shade. Everything has a purpose in life. And the purpose of that building is to shade Tilly and Millie. They love it. It's got moss moss underneath it. Nice and comfortable. They've taken that moss and they've scraped it in the pillows. And they've got nice cool dirt that they lay in. <laughs> and they don't want to come out in the heat. But yeah, I had, if you've seen last night's video, I couldn't find Tilly for probably five hours. But I looked on the camera, I seen her go across right next door. Well, that's a uh, mobile home. And there's openings. And they get up under there because it's nice and cool because it's really shaded over there. Well, that's where she was. Because she's now, she doesn't go anywhere. You know, before Millie came, she would walk across the street and play with the other dogs over there and then come back. But she never goes anywhere. And so I was worried that she might have wandered back in the past year. You know, you got rattlesnakes, you got coyotes, could be anything. And so I went, I looked for her as much as I could, called out. And actually, Millie was under the building back there. And she was 
acting kind of weird, and uh, that had me worried. She was kind of acting scared, and I petted her a little bit, and then she started walking towards the back, so I followed her. I think maybe she's leading me to Tilly, and then she disappeared into the pasture. There's there's a patch of woods back there that, that they go in. It's real shaded, and I don't think nothing of it. You know, nothing's ever happened. They don't they don't go anywhere. Millie used to go out running at night. She don't do that anymore. She stay. I think she disappeared for two and a half months. She learned a very very good lesson. Uh, she doesn't go anywhere anymore. She'll go back in those woods and out in that pasture a little bit, but she doesn't stay gone long. But you know, when they showed up, I said I ain't building any more yards. I in fact I had just tore down. Two yards from dogs that I've, I've had that passed away. They had their own yards. I'm not doing it again, you know. But they're very good about staying around the property. And I shouldn't have to. They're fine. Uh, living out like this is not like living in a city. You can let your dogs patrol the property. Um, they know they're both smart when it comes to the road. Believe me, if, if Millie is not road smart, Nobody is, because she survived all those years, you know, on her own. Before she came here, she she, she ran around anywhere she went, you know. Anywhere she went, that's where she was. So, but it only takes one time, and, and they're not, I've never seen Tilly go after a rabbit or anything like that. That would be the only situation sometimes if they're chasing something and a car's coming. Uh, but they're they're not interested in that, and that's that's unusual for a beagle. Uh, Tilly's just never been that kind of a dog. She just wants to lay around and get petted. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to get back on this light again. I'd film it, but it's boring, and I cuss a lot. I'm cussing a lot with this. I just want the fan on there and working again. And what sucks is the old one, there was nothing wrong with the old one. I didn't have to take it down. It was the switch. If I'd investigated it a little more, I'd have seen that before I tore all that apart. Uh, but I did keep it. You know, it's still good. I'll put it aside. Maybe I'll use it way up there later. I don't know how I'm ever going to get up there unless I rent some sort of scissor lift. Because it's high. You know, that's 22 feet. To the top to hang something up there but i'll figure it out one day all right guys we will see you tomorrow thanks for watching happy trails